Imagine having access to the entire world's scientific research at your fingertips. For free, is that even possible? A world where scientific knowledge is not confined to the privileged few, but accessible to anyone with a thirst for understanding. Could we propel humanity forward at an unprecedented pace? Could we solve our planet's most pressing problems? Could we ignite a global renaissance of scientific discovery? These are not mere fantasies, they are real possibilities. Welcome to the world of open science. So, what exactly is open science? Well, let's break it down. Open science, as the name suggests, is a concept that revolves around openness and transparency in all aspects of scientific research. It's about making science more accessible to everyone, researchers, academics, students, and even the general public. At its core, open science is built on three pillars, transparency, accessibility, and collaboration. Let's take a closer look at each of these. Firstly, transparency. In the context of open science, this means that every step of the scientific process, from hypothesis formulation to data collection, analysis, and interpretation, should be clearly documented and shared. This allows for a more thorough understanding of the research and also makes it possible for others to replicate the study, which is a fundamental aspect of scientific integrity. Secondly, accessibility. This refers to the idea that all scientific knowledge, including research findings and the data used to achieve them, should be freely available to everyone. In the traditional scientific publishing model, research is often behind paywalls, making it difficult for those who can't afford access. Open science aims to break down these barriers, advocating for free and open access to scientific literature and data. Lastly, collaboration. Open science promotes a culture of collaboration and sharing among scientists. It encourages researchers to work together, share their data, and build upon each other's findings. This not only speeds up the process of scientific discovery, but also fosters a more inclusive and diverse scientific community. So, to sum it all up, open science is about making science more transparent, accessible, and collaborative. It's about shifting from a culture of competition to one of cooperation, and from exclusivity to inclusivity. It's about democratizing knowledge and making science a truly global endeavor. In other words, open science is science without borders. Now that we know what open science is, why does it matter? Well, imagine a world where scientific knowledge is shared freely, without barriers. A world where everyone, regardless of their background or resources, can access, use, and contribute to the vast sea of scientific knowledge. That's the power of open science. Open science is important for several reasons. Firstly, it promotes transparency and reproducibility in research. By making methodologies, data, and results openly available, other researchers can verify, replicate, or challenge the findings. This enhances the robustness and reliability of scientific knowledge. Secondly, open science accelerates the pace of discovery. Instead of working in isolation, scientists can build on each other's work, collaborate across disciplines, and avoid duplicating efforts. It's a bit like constructing a building, rather than each worker making their own bricks, they can use and improve upon the bricks made by others. Thirdly, open science democratizes knowledge. It allows everyone, not just the scientific community, to access and learn from research. This is crucial in an age where misinformation can spread like wildfire. Open science ensures that reliable, evidence-based information is within everyone's reach. But it's not just about access. Open science also empowers people to participate in the scientific process. Citizen science projects, for instance, enable the public to contribute to research, from monitoring wildlife to analyzing astronomical data. This not only enriches the research but also fosters a greater understanding and appreciation of science among the public. Finally, open science can guide policymaking and decision-making. By providing open evidence, it can inform decisions on pressing issues from climate change to public health. It ensures that policies are based on the best available knowledge rather than opinions or conjectures. So open science does more than just open up science. It opens up possibilities, it opens up understanding, it opens up progress. It transforms the scientific endeavor from a closed, competitive race into a collaborative, inclusive journey. It's not just about advancing science but advancing society as a whole. Open science thus revolutionizes the way we understand, share, and use knowledge. How can open science change our world? Now, that's a question worth pondering. You see, open science has the potential to revolutionize the way we approach scientific discovery, and its impact is far-reaching and profound. Firstly, open science can accelerate scientific discovery. 
When researchers share their data, methods, and findings openly, it allows others to build upon their work, fostering faster and more efficient progress. Imagine if every scientist had access to a vast library of data, knowledge and resources, unrestricted by paywalls or proprietary boundaries. The rate of discovery could be supercharged, leading to breakthroughs that might otherwise take decades to achieve. But the benefits of open science go beyond just accelerating discovery. It also promotes inclusivity. In the traditional model, access to scientific knowledge is often limited by financial barriers or institutional access. But in an open science framework, anyone, regardless of their background or resources, can access, use, and contribute to scientific knowledge. This inclusivity encourages a diversity of perspectives, which is vital for robust and innovative scientific exploration. Furthermore, open science democratizes knowledge. It breaks down the ivory towers of academia making science a public enterprise. It allows citizens to participate in the scientific process, fostering a sense of ownership and engagement. It helps to bridge the gap between scientists and the public, fostering trust and encouraging scientific literacy. But perhaps most importantly, open science has the potential to transform our relationship with knowledge itself. It challenges the notion that knowledge is a commodity to be bought and sold, and instead posits it as a common good, freely accessible to all. This shift in perspective could have profound implications for how we understand and value knowledge in our society. So, how can open science change our world? By accelerating discovery, promoting inclusivity, democratizing knowledge, and challenging our perceptions of what knowledge should be. Open science is not just a concept, it's a catalyst for change. However, open science is not without its criticisms and challenges. Like all paradigms that seek to revolutionize an established system, open science faces its fair share of hurdles. Let's delve into some of them. First on the list is the issue of quality control. Traditional science is often subject to rigorous peer review processes before findings are published. These processes, while not perfect, aim to ensure accuracy and validity. However, with open science, the sheer volume of data and research being freely shared can make it challenging to maintain these standards. The risk then, is that inaccurate or misleading information may proliferate, muddying the waters of scientific discourse. Then there's the question of data privacy. Open science promotes the sharing of raw data which can be a double-edged sword. On one hand it allows for more thorough analysis and scrutiny. On the other, it could potentially compromise the privacy of research participants. Balancing the need for openness with the need to protect individual privacy is a delicate act that open science must navigate. Another challenge is the digital divide. While open science aims to democratize access to scientific knowledge, the reality is that not everyone has equal access to the internet or the skills to navigate the digital landscape. This can inadvertently create a new kind of barrier to accessing science where those without digital access or literacy are left behind. And finally, there's the issue of incentivizing open science. The current academic reward system is often based on publication in high-impact journals, which may not align with the principles of open science. Changing these deeply entrenched incentives is no small task. In spite of these challenges, it's crucial to remember that no paradigm is perfect from the get-go. Each challenge presents an opportunity for learning and growth, a chance to refine and improve the open science movement. Despite these challenges, the promise of open science continues to inspire scientists and enthusiasts around the world. The journey towards a more open, inclusive, and collaborative scientific community is a challenging one, but the potential rewards are immense. So, are we ready for a future where science is open to all? In this journey, we've traversed the landscape of open science, a concept that is as exciting as it is groundbreaking. It's a shift from traditional methods, a new way of thinking that heralds a future where knowledge is no longer confined to the ivory towers but is freely available for everyone. We've talked about how open science breaks down the barriers to knowledge, democratizing access to information, and fostering collaboration on a global scale. It's a catalyst for innovation, a tool for progress that accelerates scientific discovery and enriches our understanding of the world. We've also looked at the profound impact of open science. It's not just about sharing research findings, it's about creating a culture of transparency, reproducibility and accountability. It's about making science more reliable, more credible and ultimately more beneficial for society. But the path to open science isn't without its challenges. We've discussed the issues of data privacy, intellectual property, and the need for sustainable funding models. These are significant hurdles, but they're not insurmountable. 
With collective effort and the right policies, we can navigate these challenges and move towards a more open scientific community. Open science is more than a trend, it's a movement, and it's paving the way for a future where knowledge belongs to everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.